Hi friends, it's Deanna here today. Thank you for coming back. Um, last time we worked on this beautiful top right here and we changed the wrapped in love pattern into a square neck. And I told you I was gonna come back and add the skirt to it. And then I was going to come back and add the sleeves to it as well. So today we're going to sew on the skirt and then we'll come back again next time and add the sleeves. And so let's get started. <laughs> So I was trying to decide what kind of skirt I wanted to do and I'm thinking I'm going to go with a half circle skirt. I hope I have enough fabric um, for it. If not, then we might go with a solid fabric just like I mentioned last week. Um, I'm going to be using the tress bell pattern. The tress bell pattern has three different kinds of skirts. It's got the straight, um, well, the gathered um, straight skirt. So it's straight, but gathered at the waist. It's got a circle skirt, so it could be cut, cut on the double fold, and it's a circle skirt. If you're curious about that, um, go ahead and check out our um, YouTube tutorial on how to cut a circle skirt, which is so easy and it turns out super easy to, to attach on and the only reason why i'm not doing the circle skirt is because i don't think i have enough fabric for a full circle skirt so i'm going to do a half circle skirt which just means that i'm gonna cut a front piece a back piece and then i'm gonna have a seam on the side which also leads me to be able to add pockets if i want to add pockets to the skirt so we might go ahead and add some pockets too that way we can make it a little bit fun and i'm going to show you just how to do that um, so first thing I'm going to do is grab my fabric and cut it out actually I got to do that so here's my pattern piece and like I said it's gonna be cut on the fold and I'm gonna cut two of them All right, I'm so excited. I had enough fabric to cut it with this fabric, my skirt. Now, the really cool thing about this is if you're not planning on doing the top the same that I'm doing, that's okay. The skirt can fit into other, um, other tops. So um, if you just wanted to make the skirt, what's really cool is you can make just the skirt and add a waistband to it. Um, and that would make it just a skirt as well. And you can make it separate if you wanted to make it separate. Or you can grab a top you already have that's, al that's already fitted here at the waist and attach the skirt to it. And that would also add, make this shirt into a dress. So that's another cool idea. So now I'm gonna put this aside and hopefully I have enough for sleeves. I already know what kind of sleeves I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna leave you in suspense for the next video if you wanna check that out. Um, I am going to uh, make a pocket because I think I just want one side pocket. If you want two side pockets, you're just gonna double what I'm doing right now. But I think I'm just gonna have one pocket. I'm using that contrasting fabric because I wanna save the other fabric. And also because sometimes it's nice to use lighter pockets. It does not matter with this fabric because it wouldn't matter with this fabric because this is a heavier fabric. But if you're using a light fabric, um, usually it helps to use a, like for if you're using a light fabric for your dress, you wanna use a light fabric for your pockets so they don't pull your fabric down. But since I'm using a heavier fabric, it wouldn't really matter but I want to still, I want to still use something light that I have. Now you can grab a packet um, pattern piece from, if you have a packet pattern piece or you just can make a packet pattern piece using your hand and kind of tracing it around. Um, I have this uh, water soluble pen and I can actually do it. Let's just do it on a pattern, on a piece of paper first. I'm gonna grab my hand, I'm just gonna place it kind of like you would place it as you're going inside a pocket. So we're just gonna go and draw the outline of my pocket. This is what I would say how big I would want that pocket if you want it bigger, if you want your hand to go all the way in. I have a big hand, so I mean, I think this would be a good size. And then go in. You kind of have this little droop here because that's kind of the shape that it's going down. So it's kind of like a teardrop shape. And that would be my pocket piece it doesn't have to be perfect um, you want to have enough room right here that this it has a seam allowance so that's why I kind of went in and make sure that you have like this gap right here so that your hand goes in so I might add a little bit of extra for a seam allowance where I'm going to attach it to my skirt um, and you can add seam allowance to this as well around uh, around it if it's not 
I see how I made it bigger than my hand. You might wanna, if you wanna make it bigger, add more seam allowance. It just depends on how big you want that pocket. And it could be a trial and error too on how big you wanna make it. All right, so here's my pocket piece. And now I'm going to cut two of these and they're gonna be mirrored. And I'm cutting two because I've got a front of the pocket and a back of the pocket. They'll get sewn together and then that'll be my little pocket. And here is, I'm leaving that seam allowance right there. So when I cut it, and I'm gonna cut around it, kind of leaving a little bit of a seam allowance around the whole thing because it's better for me to have a bigger pocket than too small of a pocket. It's okay, you can even grab your phone and kind of put your phone on top of it and see how big your phone is, if that's what you're going to be putting inside of it. Um, and so you can make a pocket as big as your phone or however big you wanna make that pocket. Doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm only, like I said, making one pattern. If you, pattern, one pocket. If you're making two pockets, then you would wanna cut two of these. I mean, four of these, cause you know, this is two, is one pocket, then you would wanna cut two more. All right, now we're gonna grab our skirt. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to put the skirt together. So super easy. And honestly, the circle skirt is even easier than this because it's already basically sewn together at the sides. All right, so from the top, I'm gonna go about two inches down from the top, two to three inches down. I'm gonna, let's go three inches. One, two, three. Um, because this is like right here at the top and I want my pocket to be down a little bit from the waistline. Um, so usually like about two to three inches work just fine. Um, if you wanna kind of figure out, put your bodice on first and see where that's gonna hit and then go from there, you can do that. So I'm gonna go two, let's go two and a half. <laughs> Compromise. And I'm placing that pocket um, along the edge of my skirt and this is the right side touching the right side of my skirt. And I'm gonna sew that onto the, sh to the skirt side. Now we are going to sew the other one, the other pocket to the other side of the skirt. So you gotta put it right on top so that they're gonna face each other. You don't wanna place it on the other side because then you have one side of the pocket on one side and one side on the other and that will not work. So there we go right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold it over and place it. Make sure that your uh, pocket's going towards the bottom and make sure that you're placing it <clears throat> at the same spot that you place the other one. So farther down a little bit and so that they match once you go to sew them together. There you go, they're matching. So I'm gonna go over and sew that pocket on. Some people like to do this step, the next few steps on their sewing machine because it's less bulk on the pocket. I haven't really had an issue with that, so I just usually use my serger, but this is up to you. Um, you're gonna sew it along like that seam allowance right there because then you're gonna sew these two together, but these are gonna come out like this when you're sewing. So you'll sew down and around the pocket instead of sewing straight down the side. So let's go sew this on and then we'll come back to put the skirt together. And I'm gonna prep my bodice too at the same time while I'm at it now that I remember. Now, if you're working with sleeves that have to be put on first before you sew the uh, sides together, then you go ahead and do that. But with this, what I'm doing today, I'm just going to go ahead and sew the sides together because I'm gonna do inset sleeves. That means that the sleeves I'm gonna put on, um, they can be put on once that side is sewn. There's a circle at the arm side and the sleeve goes right into it. Some sleeves you have to open up the arm side and attach them on and then if you want this to be a um, like a sleeveless one that doesn't have seams, you can check out our video on the burrito method and that will show you how to do that and you can do that with this top as well. But for the instance, for the purposes that we've got going on today, I'm just going to grab my front and back and I'm gonna sew them together now. You can just go ahead and sew them together fully and then you'll have an, an um, you have your seam on the inside, but if you don't want seams on the inside, you can grab your uh, outers and sew them together, and then you can grab your liners and sew them together, and then you will have, then the, um, like this. You open it up, and you sew your liners together, you sew your outers together, and then you would have um, your seam allowance on the inside so it's not touching your body. So either way would work just fine. It's up to you. That's just personal preference on this step. 
So I'm just gonna separate them and sew the right sides together of the liner to get the liners together, the right sides together of the outers together, and then my um, seam allowance will be on the inside. Now for the sleeves, the seam allowance will be touching my body because I'm not doing a fully lined um, situation. So I'm okay with that. But I guess we'll just go ahead and do it this way for the, for the top. All right, so now when we turn this right side out, our top, if we would have sewn the sleeves together as well, then we would have a fully lined uh, top. As you can see right here, your seams are on the inside. So that won't show on the inside of your garment. So it's like nice and lined. So here's my top ready for the skirt and my sleeves and I can't wait to show you what sleeves I'm gonna do you gotta come check it out on the next video because I'm really excited about them so now I want to grab the skirt and I'm gonna face it right side up on my mat and here's my pocket so I'm gonna grab my other pocket and I'm gonna face it right on top right sides together on this side now I'm gonna show you the other side that doesn't have a pocket how it just goes straight down so if you're not doing a pocket then you would just go straight down straight down the side but since I'm doing a pocket I'm gonna go around that pocket and the pockets facing right sides together tell me do you prefer pockets or no pockets when you sew a dress do you sew pockets or do you not sew pockets <clears throat> I love a pocket I do, and I go back and forth because I love having a pocket, but then sometimes certain dresses, I'm just like, I don't know that I want a pocket. I feel like it's so bulky sometimes. But when I have a dress like this, here I am grabbing the other side, and like I said, this one just goes straight because there's no pocket. Um, I like a pocket with this one because of the fact that it's a fuller dress and it is a thicker fabric, then I'm good with a pocket. When it's a thinner fabric, I don't really like the bulk of a, of a pocket in there. And then I only like to have one pocket. I feel like two pockets is too much to me. I know, y'all, that's probably unpopular opinion. Uh -huh, you all are like, what, put all the pockets on. I know, but sometimes I'm just like, one pocket's enough. Like I don't carry very much with me. Like I carry my phone, my keys, and maybe a chapstick. So I just shove it in one pocket and I'm good to go. Um, so one pocket's good for me. How many pockets do you like? Zero, one, or two. All right, let's go sew those sides and then we'll come back to attach it to our waist and we'll be done with this skirt. And you could hem. This is a fabric that's not, um, it doesn't really need to be hemmed. It's a knit fabric, it's a Liverpool. Um, it doesn't fray. It looks really nice at the edge. So depending on the length, I'll try it on and see if I like the length or not. If I like it, how it is, then I won't hem it. I know, that's bad. I'm giving you bad advice, but um, why do the extra work when you don't have to? When I get right here at the corner of my pocket, what I like to do is I like to tighten my pocket, like pull it down, make sure they're even right here. And so I'm going to again on this edge, on this edge, I'm going to do this. I am super excited. This is going to be gorgeous. Look at how cute that looks already. Um, here's my pocket. You can go ahead and understitch, which means from the inside, you can go ahead and stitch that pocket to that seam allowance right here to the pocket, like go all the way around and stitch it. Uh, you could have done that before you sewed it together, uh, but I don't really usually do that and I don't seem to ever have an issue. Here's a little piece of serger thread that got caught on the outside. Anyway, and um, especially being that this is a heavier fabric, just give it a good steam and you're good to go. That's what I usually do. All right, so now we've got the two side seams because we sewed it on the, we cut it on the fold. And so I'm gonna match those up and go to each side and create my front and my back where my front and my back will be. And I like to do like a little notch. It's not too big, it's just tiny. But then if my pin falls off or something, I know exactly where it is. I'm gonna do the same for my bodice. Now when I attach my bodice to my skirt, I need to make sure that I'm attaching the liner and the outer of the bodice um, so that they match up. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna wrap this skirt right over, right sides together on my bodice and match up those quarter points. And everything should fit just fine um, because 
these both of these patterns were designed to be uh tight not tight but uh fit around your um around your waist so if they're both the same size they should both be the same width now i'll tell you this and sometimes um you find that you cut it a little bit different or something like that and you find that maybe your skirt is a little bit wider than your bodice or your or vice versa if it's just a little bit i wouldn't even worry about it i would just stretch it to fit um, if it's a lot then you might want to go in and gather it and see i put the wrong lining here oh my goodness i would have been so upset make sure that it's the right lining the back with the back the front with the front um, and you might go in and give it a tiny gathering stitch and fit it around and that will be just fine also what am i grabbing onto here there we go there's the lining also um sometimes when you're using i'm using both heavy fabrics i'm using liverpool for the liner and liverpool for the outer so i'm gonna be just fine but if you're using a fabric that's heavier at the bottom um, you may want to add some clear elastic to offer that bodice some reinforcement, some to be able to hold on to that weight. The skirt may be too heavy and will droop it down. So if you add some clear elastic, it'll help keep it all tightened together so it won't fall apart. All right, I'm going to go sew that together and then I'm going to try it on and show you just how cute it looks. And then come back next time for the sleeves. All right, friends, how adorable is this turning out? Here's my pocket. I love it. I think it one pocket is just perfect for me. And the length, I actually really like the length, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I should go ahead and hem it up a little bit. What do you all think? Let me know below. And then on the next video when we add the sleeves, um, if you all think I should hem it, we'll go ahead and hem it there too. Um, the square neckline, go check out the video for that if you did not check it out yet. I kept a rounded back on that, but if there is an option on doing the square on both sides, if you wanted to do that on the front and the back um, for the square look on both sides. I'm super excited to add the sleeves, so don't forget to check that video out. It'll be coming next. I think this looks super adorable. I love the shape of the half double, the half circle skirt. It just, um, it's nice and flowy, but it's not too full. It's not as full as the circle skirt. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Come find us on Facebook so you can see some amazing sewists who are there to inspire you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.